Hello and welcome. I'm really glad you could join me today and it's good to see you here on the conditioning class. What's going to be today is going to be a full class, so about an hour's worth of work and what we'll be doing is we'll be doing bands. They're going to be short bands and long bands. So the long band, um, I've gone for a fairly robust band, one and a half metres long on this one, on the long band. And then I've got two different bands on the short ones. Um, one because it's going to be a, again a shorter lever, that's a, quite a, a tough band and then the other one just a little bit of a medium band and again these come in all different strengths and you usually buy them in a set so if you have any you know do look out for them they're on sale and again again bands are great because if you think you're going away you can take me with you remember now that we are on um, we are on a mobile as well so you can take me anywhere and also you can take the bands anywhere as well especially if you're going away on holiday you can work out whilst you're still away okay so we're going to be doing the circuit so what we do is we're going to do a warm-up first so enough room to move around in a mat because we will be getting on the floor um, and a water bottle if you've got it there as well okay so let's start with the warm-up okay out of the arms just squeezing those shoulder blades together Just squeezing them back. Okay, my thumb coming forward. Little tap. Good. Get that squeeze across the pecs. Shoulders back and down, which will be important for our first exercise. So again, feel that that core is pulled in. Okay, I'm going to come over the top. Little over the top. Okay, take a step touch the way that I'm going. And the way that I'm going, I'm going to do a little circle. Then into the middle out. Just up on your toes, no jump. Just open out those ankles, up. Go do step touch this time, gonna pull back. Good, so just grabbing that air, pulling it back in. Now up with the arms, give that little raise up. And feel that your ribcage stays low, so you've got that pressure already going through your abs. Step leg curl. Good, still a step leg curl. I've just got to brought the elbows up and we get that squeeze between the shoulder blades. We're going to roll one arm. A little roll up one arm. Good, so nice and loose. Coming up to the front leg for the runner. Elbow goes back strong. Good. Other leg, other arm. Other arm first. Just roll that over. Then up on that first leg and give that push as you're taking that elbow back. Well done, okay. I'm just going to reach out. Good, so again, pulling my shoulders down low. They don't go out with my arms. My arms just travel away because I have to use my pecs in this. Keep my shoulders back and down. Okay, up on your toes again, but this time I'm going to roll in. Feel that space between the shoulder blades. Now I'm going to come over the front with just one, but still my shoulder staying low and back. So really practice that pulling back down and in. Okay, into the middle again. Just with the arms going across each other, up on your toes. Okay, and then across. Already feel that little tension in the abs and the backs of the shoulders. Okay, well done. Okay, okay, here. Do a little lean forward and come up. Okay, now I'm going to lift this leg, lift the leg, push it back, up and back. Again, the angle on my back doesn't change. Okay, on the other side, and back up. Okay, lovely. Lift, curl, lift, curl, lift, curl. Well done, just give it a little shake out. Okay, well done, are we ready for those circuits? Okay, so I'm going to use the long band first. Three different exercises. The long band is going to go around, back like that there. And then this one about this shoulders being pulled down and in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be into a lunge. As my arms go away from me, you can see my shoulders are back down. They haven't gone with that band, okay? So again, just keep that angle there. Okay, so if you've already got the band, I can start. Okay, so it's going to be 35 seconds and pushing out. So feel it in the pecs, back down, 
and push out. Good, so long in the neck, feel it through the pecs. Lovely, good. Push out. Concentrate on those arms, moving away from you as you have locked those shoulders. Back down and in. Okay, lovely, good. I'm going to do that a second time. Same leg, obviously same arms all the way through. I'm just going to change the legs. Okay, so it's down, up. Just pushing away from you. Good, elbows come in each time. Come up strong in that lunge and strong through the pecs. Just get used to pulling that shoulders down so you know your core is solid, abs are pulled in, and those arms are really going away from you. So you really going to feel it in the pecs by the time you've finished four of these sets. Well done, okay, lovely. I'm just gonna change legs. Okay, so it's a drop and a push away from you. Good, so again, feel it through the legs. My shoulders stay over my hips all the time. And I push away with those arms. So I've got a little bit of leftover band here. Good, so I'm keeping that tension. Even when they're back here, they haven't gone floppy, I've still got some tension on them. I want that work. Push. And it also depends really on how stiff your bands are. So again, still, it's immediate, intermediate to advanced from this band. Good, but you can start off with a lighter band if you want to, on those long bands. Best to have a selection. Good, pushing it out. Really feeling it now on the pecs. My fourth one. Pecs are working for me the whole time. My shoulders are back and down. My shoulders stay over my hips. Lovely, good. Okay, we are moving on on this next one. I'm standing on the band. I'm going to take the first few to know how it feels. But again, my band doesn't go floppy, but I can push out. So I'm using my own core and then I push out to get that tricep work. And there's also quite a lot of work on my shoulder, as I say, on my core as well. My foot's planted. Okay, that will be good. So here, so that everything else stays forward. My zip and hollow is on. Okay, so I'm getting a kick out, then I come back in. Kick out, come back in. So don't hurry it, get that elbow. Remember to really straighten off and lock. Good, and you'll really feel it after two sets on this here. Good, so my bottom is tucked in. I'm straight from my shoulder down into my heel at the back and straighten it off. Lovely, good. Okay, just get that little wiggle through. Go back into that strong position. My zip and hollow on. It's here at my hip. And then I kick it back. Try not to let this happen. We're just using momentum with your bottom out. And then that, it just comes back to your hip each time. It's a very purposeful movement. Just getting it straight. That's good work, well done. Back into your hip. Good. Really begin to feel now, front of shoulder, because again it's keeping that arm up and it's stabilising me through my core, through my shoulder, as I'm getting that arm out and locked. Good work, well done. Just a quick change over to the other side. Yeah, so again, just that little roll around if you want to there. Bottom tucked in, out with that arm. And I'm locking it out and back. Okay, so see where you are off the, off the first one or two. 
I've just got a little bit of tension off that band. I wouldn't be able to challenge my arm. Good. Getting that work all the way out. But I do want to be able to straighten off that elbow. So just straighten it off each time. Well done, good. Okay, just give that a little wiggle through. Okay, so there's tension on that band already. And then just kicking out with that arm. Kicking out with that lower part of my arm. Getting that tricep to work. Good. Pushing it out. Triceps will get a second lot of work on this as well. Further on in the session there. Good, so again, really feel that that little elbow can straighten off. Core pulled in. Good work, well done. Okay, so on my next one, it's coming from the bottom up, so I've got that little loop. I put my foot in that loop. Here, here's my tension already, a little bit like my lunge, but this time when I come up, knee, once you've done a few, try and get your elbows forward as well. The little bicep curl, core, really working for you on this. Legs, pretty much an all body exercise. Okay, so ready? So you can do the first few. Keep that tension on the bands, don't let your arms drop. So keep that tension, and then that lift. And then after a few, see if you can also do the elbows going forward. So this time I've got the knee up, we've got my core pulled in, and then those elbows go forward. So it's still feed it on the arms, give me that squeeze forward. If you feel that it's got enough here to get the lift, keep that tension on, that is fine. It's just a little extra challenge to bring those elbows forward. Lovely. Second set on this one. Okay, back down to my lunge. Here we go, we're on. Up. And I'm just bringing those elbows forward. Yeah, so shoulders back and down all the time and then that squeeze forward. Up. Elbows going forward. Good work, well done. Just changing over onto the other side. I've got my tension already on the bands. Okay, drop into my lunge. Try the first few, now that you're on a different leg, where you're just doing that lunge, you're keeping that tension through the arms. Then if you want to, remember that elbows up at the end. I get my knee lift, get my elbows going forward. Good work, well done. Second time on this leg. Again, so full body exercise, you can hear it in my voice. There is that system where we're gonna have to get that oxygen to the legs. So it does become quite aerobic as I'm using all of my body on this one. One leg to lift me up, core, then my arms. Good, up and out, and those elbows coming forward. Whoop. That's it, lovely, and up. Straight down, shoulders over your hips, up. Good work, well done, okay, lovely. This is where we change to our shorter band, our loop, or if you want to, because you will have three exercises with that one thing, we can do a knot in that, if that's all you've got there, where you are. Okay, so, I'm starting with my heavy one for my arms, and it's gonna be a push out, this is what it looks like from the front, there, okay, lovely, good. So it's gonna be the outsides of the arms, 
Again, you can try it with this. You can drop down to your medium one. I want a heavy one at the moment. So, it's a lift out. Core's pulled in. Knees are slightly soft. And push out with these elbows. Arms and elbows. Good. Shoulders back and down. Good, here. So again, you can have your longer band with a knot in it and get your arms out a little bit further. Good, so it's the outside of my shoulders. Lovely. I'm going to swap over to a lighter one only because I'm coming up to do it from here. So it is a tougher exercise. Okay, see how that feels, different. Pushing out. Good. Pushing out. Out. Good, so how are we feeling that? Outsides of arms, slightly tougher. My arms are up. Lovely, good. Coming to my heavy one again. My arms are at my waist. Shoulders are back and down. Okay, pushing out. Good, lovely. Squeeze it. Good, maybe your knees can be a little bit soft. Coming down to single figures now. Three out of four done. Lovely, good. My lighter one. A little bit further up. Elbows out of my shoulders. And out. Still use your core, so make sure core is pulled in, rib cage is down, shoulders are down, and just the elbows working where you stabilize yourself through the middle. Okay, squeezing it out. Okay, for the next one, we will be putting it around our legs. I'm going to stay with this medium heavy one because I've got a long lever on the legs, it's going to be around my ankles. Lovely, good. Okay, so give yourself time. Take a little water break as well if you want to here. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to, you can sit down to do this or if you can hold on to something, put those bands just around the ankles. Okay, so here I'm going to have one leg forward, lean forward, come up out of your hips, lengthen that spine, keep your ass pulled in, get that leg lift. Okay, so when you're ready to go, set that and get ready to go. Good, so it's a long leg. Don't be tempted to do this. Make it shorter. Get that long leg. My weight is over that front leg, so there's a lot of work to do. My core is pulled in, then I'm getting that glute and hamstring. Getting that lift. Lovely, good. I'm going to go second time on this leg. So again, lots of work there on that long lever. Bend that front leg definitely. Tip from the hip. Keep your abs pulled in. And then get me that lift. Good. So with your fingertips, just the front of your hip bones there. Feel that that's and hollow is on. Then get me that leg lift. Yeah, 15 left now on this one. I'll be doing that 35 seconds. So it's a good fair chunk of work to be doing that one exercise on. Lovely, good. So again, just be careful, change it round. Bend that front leg, as pulled in. I know my lower back is being supported. And I'm not doing a seesaw. This is a seesaw. 
where I lean forward and lift and then try and come up. There's less work on this one. So again, keep that long spine and get that work done. Lift, this is the glute that worked for me before. That's my other fine glute where I'm standing forward on it. And then I get that lift through that straight leg. That's where the work is. Good, really tightening up those glutes. Giving that good shape to that bottom. Lovely, good. Okay. I'm getting ready to go. And I get that lift. Good, so again, just focus on a spot in the floor in front of you or just in front of you somewhere where you can keep that balance. Don't turn the hip or anything. You can really feel that work building up on the other side as well, that standing leg. There's a lot of stabilization work to do for you. Yeah, give me that lift. Last few seconds. Good work, well done. Okay, so straight through 35 seconds at a squat, lift the leg out to the side, squat, lift the leg out to the side. Okay, so I'm back on my heels. All the things that are normal with a squat, but as I come up, it lifts out and lifts out. So I'm just going to be running through this four times. So that's where the work comes. Good, lovely, and lift. Basic. Need two minutes 20 of work here with that little 10 in the middle. Well done. Just give it a little roll round. Yes, just use that little recovery time. And we're ready to go again. Give me that squat and that lift. Squat and lift. Good, so again, always what I say about longer levers, hard to work. This would be much easier if your bands were up over your knees. But I want that work on the legs there. Lovely, good. Two out of four done. That squat, lift out to the side. Okay, drop and lift out to the side. Lovely, good. Okay, one more. Feel it in the glutes, can't we? On that outside thigh, giving stability to that knee. Okay, here we go, we're on. Last one now, give me that lift. Good. Good, that lift. And good work, well done. Okay, lovely. I'm gonna take that band off. We are changing it now for the longer band. Okay, so sat down, take it off safely, then come back up. And this time, we have got the long band again. Okay, so it's gonna be, one we're working hard is that inner tricep here, which is quite hard to work in any other situation. So what it's going to do here is over the back like that there, all the way down, all the way up. And remember, your wrists are straight. So again, the work is on the way down and that's straighter. Okay, up, normal tricep, 
bottom arm, inside tricep, which again, both while we're working. Okay, lovely, good. Okay, so, get me that long band. Okay, here we go. So do try and start with that band, with that resistance, get that higher resistance if you can. I'm gonna work all the way through. So again, that goes all the way up. And again, remember, I'm just gonna show you my wrist at the top there. So you're gonna do this kneeling or standing, that wrist is straight. It's not back here with that bend. And this is definitely not with a bend. They're both very straight. Just lock those wrists. Lovely, good. I'm gonna go a second time on this arm. Okay, close to your head. That band should almost be rubbing the back of your head. And then I am checking each time that I get straight. I can feel that my elbows have locked. But do check that you've got both those wrists straight as well. Good. Good work, well done, I change it over. So I get ready to go. Feel that my wrists are locked in one position and my triceps are getting those arms up, getting that all the way down. With my fist towards the floor here and towards the ceiling there. Good. Down. single figures now, bring your feet up on those triceps, do not let this one up here roll away from your head, you'll end up with your shoulder doing the work, not the tricep, okay you've got one more, I know it does get a little bit in between your thumb and your forefinger there, can get a little bit sore, but if we can just keep going, this is our last one here on these triceps before we move on. Good, we're coming down into single figures now. Those triceps, a little bit burly now, but keep up that resistance if you can on that band. Don't stretch it off. Good, get right to the end. Okay, lovely, we are up. Okay, good work. Take a little drink of water if you need it. I'm gonna explain the next one to you. Okay, so, again, about core strength. I'm down here, so again, straight back the whole time. Get a little bit of tension on that band, and this time it's not in between the thumb and the forefinger, thankfully. It's on the outside. I move across into there. Oh, I pull out that elbow. You better keep your weight on that band, as far as that will happen. Okay, lovely. So we've then forward, we've got our abs pulled in, and we're ready to go. Get tension on that band. Don't ever let it go floppy like this. It's strong. Ready? Okay, off we go. Got that band now, <laughs> anchored behind that other leg, underneath the other leg, shall I say, underneath the other foot. Good, squeeze. Good, as my band goes back, doesn't go floppy. Good, so again, it's the outside of my shoulder, here, pulling. But I'm not turning. Good. Back, get low on that leg, pushing off from that leg each time. I'm gonna do two on one, two on the other, so again, it's the back of the shoulder that's getting it. And keep that weight on the other leg. Okay. Okay, here we go. I've leant forward. I keep that forward the whole time. I don't twist through the waist. There is an exercise where you have to twist as well, but this I want more in the arm top back of that shoulder to get it out. The rest, the core, is stabilizing. My weight on my feet, hopefully on that other band there, pulling it out. 
and I'm leaning forward. So again, that's it, lovely, good. On the other side. Get used to really pulling your core in whenever you lean forward. Just in general life, picking stuff up or if you're just leaning forward. You want to protect your lower back. Good, so again, I'm pulling out. So by the time I put out, I can look at my elbow and it's the same height as my shoulder. I'm leaning forward the whole time. So you have to really think about your and hollow being on. Yeah, so make that one arm go straight. Good. Get that pull out. Good work, well done. Last one. Bottom out, knees bent, pull. Good, so keep that resistance heavy if you can. Out and push down. Push down with the legs and out with the arm. Good, so again, keep your neck long. Don't let this shoulder hunch up. Keep it down and back. Use your shoulders. Keep those shoulders down and back. Good, lovely, squeeze. And I can squeeze behind the shoulder to get that out. Last few seconds now. Well done. Okay, lovely, good. Okay, back to my first one. And this is where I do get a little turn. Okay, this time my legs do not change shape. Okay, so they're here. Put your hand on the inside and it's a turn to the side. So again, I'm used to the back of my shoulder, but also my lats on the back and my obliques on the back. All those muscles running into your spine to give you good posture. Okay, are we ready to go? The beeps are almost there. Three, two, one. Put your hand here. Make sure this other knee does not drop in. Good. Turn, drop that elbow in. Drop that shoulder in. Then I come back, then being level. Good. Get that squeeze. Now I am turning through the waist. When I pull that arm back and I look at it, so I know where it's going. Lovely, good. Do that little roll round, maybe a little lean forward and back, just to loosen up that back before we go again. Okay, I'm down, hand on the inside of my knee. So I know it's not going to turn. Good, so hand is here. Make sure you're not leaning too heavy on it where the shoulder comes up. This shoulder stays down. And then I get that turn and that squeeze. Good. Squeeze it through for me. Lovely. Squeeze. Lovely, good. Okay, well done. Okay. Ooh. We're coming up. That's it, lovely, good. Okay, well done. We are moving on. Okay, lovely, good. So this time I'm getting rid of that band and I'm getting onto the floor with my shoulder band. So, again, okay, you've got the choice. Actually, I will need that as well. On the floor. So. Grab a little bit of water if you need to, and we're on the floor. Okay, so my first one is going to be an oyster. Okay, so I'm going to put that band on. I'm going to show you two ways of doing it. Okay, in my oyster here, so on the floor, Give me that squeeze up. Or you can do it with a little bridge there and oyster it up. And again, you can go, I've lifted it up to my, over my knees, so it's less of a lift, so I've gone with a heavier band. Okay, so we're ready to go. Okay, we're on. Okay, give me that lift. Good, so again, just added work here if you're going to keep that bridge. 
Lovely, good. Give me that lift. Good, so head stays pretty much in line with your spine. Lovely, good. Okay, well done. I'm gonna come up again. Or we can stay here. Give me that squeeze. You're gonna feel it quite high up on your glute. But it gives you that nice definition to the top of your glute there, running in to your waist. I'm gonna have to make this a little bit more padded for my elbow. Okay, and give me that lift. Yeah, so that work is really building up on my shoulder, on my under obliques, and then my legs doing the glute work. Outside the thigh is also working for me. Well done, okay, lovely, good. I'm gonna change it over. Here I am, in the oyster, on the floor, or if you prefer, off the floor. Good. Give me that lift. Good. Squeezing up. Good work. Well done. Go do a second set of that. On the floor or off the floor. Give me that lift. So you can be on the floor here. Give me that lift. Really concentrate that lift. Remember, don't turn your hips back on either of them. Hips are very much to the front on this. Yeah, give me that lift. Last few seconds now. Keep it strong. Good work, well done. Okay, I'm changing onto my slightly lighter band, but with the loop. And I'll show you why, because it's going to be a longer lever. So just taking those off. Okay, so here my bands go around my feet. Okay, so it's about a core here being pulled down and in. Basically my top half is on the floor, rested. Try not to have the head looking back, looking straight up at the ceiling. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push one leg away, one leg forward, so it's really tough on there, and then bring it back. And then I'm gonna work on this leg, then the other leg, then this leg, then the other leg. So it's just gonna be four different Four uh, ways through. Okay, lovely, good. So if we're ready to go, I should get the timer back on again. So my knees always start over my hips, and they go from there. Three, two, one. Okay, one goes forward, one goes back, and then I'll do the same again. They meet back in the middle. Of course, my outer leg, the one that's going down and low, my core is really working for me, but also my front and thigh on that one that's coming, you have to come forward. It won't come forward very far. That's it, because your hip basically stops it there. Good, but you can really feel that work. So there's a tension as the other arm goes out. I'm still trying to move this slightly forward. Good, push. Again, not too fast to keep that band around the feet. Okay, lovely, good. Ready to go on the other one. My knees start at my hips. One goes in, one goes out. Good, push. Give me that squeeze. That knee just comes in slightly, so remember they go back into the middle. I can really feel it now on my core, because I'm having to do my zip and hollow on, with both legs doing something different away from each other. And my back has to stay absolutely steady. My belly button's pulled in towards my spine and my ribcage stays down. Lovely, good. 
Okay, you can just bring those knees in if you want to, using your hip flexors, just getting a little bit of a battle there. Okay, I'm back. I'll do that first leg again. That's it, good. And push out and long. Building up that work, that core. Lovely, good. Bring it in. Your last one on this exercise. Okay, out and back. Good. So I'm really trying to get that long leg. Then they move back into the middle to be even. And then back out again. So front of that thigh. Having to work against that resistance with that other leg going out. And again, my core working through the middle, keeping those abs pulled in. Good work, well done. Okay, lovely. I'm going over to the long band. Okay. And what I did realise was, I let you off one of those sections. When we were up here, we didn't turn to the other side. So I'm going to do that now, before we get that long band and get on the floor. I want to make sure that you leave this quite even. So remember it was the dip down, the turn. Okay. I turned that way twice. I forgot to turn this way. Okay, here, hand on the inside of that knee, so you know it's just through the waist. And I'm getting that turn. My shoulder drops in, my lats are working for me now on the side that I'm turning to. My obliques working there as well to get that turn. All coming into the spine there. So again, you end up with that lovely muscles going into the spine, that spine definition. Good, giving that squeeze. Nice strong back. Not only looks good, it's obviously important to everything else that you do. Okay, lovely, good. I'm gonna do one more before I get on the floor this long band. Okay, down, squeeze and turn. squeeze. Last few seconds. Lovely, good. That feels better. Okay, now we're on the floor. Last two exercises. Okay, good work. Okay, this time, it's around my feet. I'm going to pull back like this and I'm in a slight V sit already so remember straight here so keep your zip and hollow on don't end up here ending up like this you have to end up nice and strong I'm coming back and I am pulling back as well here and then the other side because this alternate I'm just going to do it four times through okay good work okay we ready three two one we are on sitting back Coming back, so again I have to lengthen out my V-sit, squeeze and turn, and get my elbow to the floor. Pull back. Good, so again, keep your knees bent as you go back, make sure your knees are still bent, I'm getting that turn, and putting that elbow onto the floor, good, almost done your one out of four. We're just going alternates on this. Lovely, good. Coming up. Ready to go in the second one. Three, two, one. Into my V set. Okay, pulling back. 
lovely good and really stretching out that band have a little bit if you can here extra so really make it work start off with that tough because you can always get a little bit by taking some resistance off that band remember Well done, two more to go, then on to our last exercise, using that long band. Okay, back and now come back even further, come back up into your V set, nice hip and hollow on, hold time, good, so I know it's looking after my back, whilst I can work my upper back and my obliques to get that twist down. Squeeze it. Knees are bent. Yeah, really feel that turn. Squeeze. Oh, good work. Well done. Okay. It's tough, but again, it's good. Good to challenge ourselves. Okay, ready for the last one of this? Okay, drop down. Give me that squeeze. Good. Let's work all the way through on this one. Okay, get that turn, try and get that elbow to the floor, even if you have to look a little bit left off of those bands. Good, I'm gonna travel, and I'm gonna hit that elbow to the floor. Good, give me that squeeze, give me that turn. Lovely, good, okay, well done. Okay, on my next one and my last one, I've still got those long bands. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold on to those bands. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is up with my legs and then just put your elbows around that band. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just gonna do a little bit down, a little bit up. A little bit down, a little bit up. So it's a double leg drop, but it's under control. Then I'm gonna turn it halfway through. We're gonna do just the last little bit on this and kick back. So it really is about the core on both of these, round through the middle. Okay, a little bit of tricep obviously on that last two. Okay, so I'm here, elbows are on the outside of here. Okay, a little drop down, come back up. So I'm pushing away on those legs. Good, now again, you can experiment about how far down you want to go. Really squeeze the glutes if you're gonna go low though. We do this twice, and then we do the next full body exercise twice as well, and then you're done. Good, those bands they where they are each time. Okay, lovely, good. Then we'll get ready to go again. Okay, down. Remember, it's up to you how low you go. So again, you can start off here, up high. But as you get lower, obviously the zip in the hollow has to stay on. Those bands, those weights, those legs are in the bands. We have to really squeeze your glutes as well. Good, so the spine stays absolutely still. Good, are we ready for our last two exercises? We're gonna squeeze. So again, lovely, good. Bands are not an easy option. I know you feel that sometimes I'm not lifting weights, so it should be quite an easy option. It's not. Okay, this is my start position, I'm here. Okay, so you can use the bands a little bit if you want to, to bring yourself up. Once I'm here with a very straight back, I kick back on my triceps. Okay, then I go back down again, so that the bands can help you a little bit with that roll. If you find that roll really difficult, up here, squeeze back. So again, what I'm feeling here, even though I know my triceps are doing that kick back, it's very much about my core here being that platform that lets my arms do that kick out. And my knees are always bent. 
Lovely, good. Okay, I'm going to come down to start my last one. Last exercise. Your head's already up. Do not put your head back each time. It's here. It's forward. My knees are bent. So I can roll up here and the kick back. So really feel right around the waist there, right around the waist area. When you come up, you can really feel that work going on to kick back. Knees are bent the whole time. So your feet have to come back with you slightly when you roll down. Up and kick back. And good work, well done. Okay, I'm gonna take that timer off. And I'm also gonna take that music off. Good work, well done, okay, good. I've already got the band in my hand, so it's really nice to get that band, pulling it in. So remember, when I'm doing my hamstring stretch, so just around one in step, is that your elbows don't have to be out wide. They can be down and then pull it in. Okay, another little, just a little pull in there. Really get that hamstring stretch going on. Okay, look really soft. This hand's going to go up to the side. This leg drops out to the side. And then I give a little pull in. An inner thigh, back of thigh stretch. Hip flexors, worked a lot for me today. Okay, lovely, good. Okay, when I bring that in, I bend the knee, come up. Whilst it's up there, put the other leg in, take the first leg out, and then give me that hamstring stretch. So again, it's all about those elbows being bent. They don't have to be up here to pull that leg in. They don't have to be up by your ears. They're down here by your waist, and you can work your hands up the band until you get a really good, nice stretch in. Your hips are on the floor though. Keep them there. Don't be tempted to try and do this to get it in further. Okay, lovely, good. And then my hand goes out to the side, my leg drops out to the side, and then it comes up. So I've got that inner thigh, back of thigh stretch. Okay, lovely, good. Okay, now I'm going to bend that knee, bring it into the centre. Look at that leg, come up, your leg goes down, you come up. Okay, well done. I'm going to do my glute stretch sitting up this time, but you can do if you prefer to do it on the floor. So again here, then my bottom goes onto the floor, my back stays fairly straight, and then my bottom and my knee come quite close to, sorry, my bottom and my heel come quite close together. This knee, the crossed over knee, comes near my chest and I'm leaving it out, and you get a nice strong glute stretch on that crossed over leg. Stay up though, stay with your chest up, don't sort of sink back down into it. Okay, lovely, then bottom goes back, I change over legs, here, there, and then put your bottom down and back onto the floor, push your chest up close to that other crossed over leg, lovely, good, or you can be lying on in your back doing this if you want to, bottom goes close to your heel, and you're up with your chest close to that crossed over leg. Okay, lovely, good, I'm just going to come over onto my front, and I'm going to come into that downward dog. Okay, so on the downward dog, I'm going to push my heels and my palms into the floor here and then push back. So again, you can walk back, really feel that you've got that upper back stretch going on though as well. Okay, lovely. Up into the balls of the feet, bend the knees, walk the hands back, walk back onto your heels and then slowly come roll and roll and come up. Lovely, good. And then I'm going to push that heel into the floor so it gets another little chance through that heel and again keep your bottom tucked in and it's going to be a tricep stretch. So again rib cage down and in, abs pulled in, bottom in, heel down, legs straight, this one bent so again I can just keep on coming forward or softening that leg but keep the heel on the floor at the back and then the triceps just being there held with my other hand. Okay lovely coming up I'm just going to change it over onto the other side so, heel onto the floor, bottom tucked in, zip and hollow on, front leg, again, definitely soft, arm comes up, and I've got that tricep stretch. Good work, well done. 
push that heel into the floor okay lovely coming up okay just gonna do a little swoosh through a little swoosh through my arms are loose and come up a little swoosh through arms are loose come up I'm gonna do one more of those lovely and then I'm gonna do again that little tip forward really feel that you stretched out the spine there and then come up and just a little drop back down and come up drop back and one more down and come up and drop back lovely good okay lovely lifting them up all the way up then drop them down into that prey position in front of your face really feel that that rib cage Feels with air, but I don't lift my shoulders to do it. Really get used to using that rib cage, and then squeeze that rib cage as those lungs are being squeezed. The air is being squeezed out. The zip in the hollow is on. The belly button's pull back down and in until all that air is gone. Take a deep breath in. Give it a little shake through, and very well done. Okay, so again, bands not not an easy option, and again, you can get your bands in all different strengths. So I say, if you're getting a set of bands, they usually come in five strengths. They come as a set. They're a great piece of equipment because you can take it with you anywhere that you go. You don't have to think about luggage allowances or anything with your weights and um, you can get a really good workout from it. Okay, so I hope you take me with you when you're going and you can do your workout as normal. Okay, lovely. I'm glad you've been with me today and I will see you again next time. Okay, bye-bye for now.